Love and marriage, love and marriage. Remember that song? <laughs> How has marriage changed your video game habits? Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Guys, marriage can be a very complicated thing for video game hoarders and <coughs> collectors, right? I can only share my experience, right? You know, over the years, I've known a lot of gamers. I have known a lot of gamers that have sold their collections right after they get married. I have known collectors that their wives have felt so adamant about them playing video games that they had to sell everything. I've had friends whose wives would lock up their consoles in suitcases because they played to the extreme. I think communication you know, and self-control is very, very important. I can only share my story, you know, hoping that it helps you out there, right? I have a person that has a lot of video games. But even though I have a lot of video games, most of my time is not spent playing video games, right? Sometimes I'm amazed how, many, how much time I see people play video games online because I, I don't have that kind of time. A lot of people say they have jobs. I mean, you have to sacrifice something if you're playing 5, 10, 15, 20 hours of video games a week, right? Something is not, something is out of balance, right? And the way I've obtained balance, right, is with communication with my partner, right? And say, okay, well, this is what I do, right? This is, you know, and I laid out what I do specifically with video games, with YouTube, for example. And then we come up with an agreement on how much time is reasonable without affecting the rest of our relationship. Because, you know, if you have a relationship, you have to put time into your relationship, right? You have other responsibilities. Guys, I love video games, but the only way I can get these video games is by bargaining and working my ass off. Me personally, I'm a workaholic. I love working. Uh, you know, if, if I get frustrated about anything, it's not having enough time to play or to finish all the video games. I try to experience all of them, right? I, I try to put them on the console and turn them on and play them, you know, as, as much as I can. Some of them I played over the years. But as I told you before, this space right here is, is the same to me as somebody would have a space full of plants, right? Which is something that was very hard for, the, for, the, for my wife now. Uh, to understand when she saw this, you know, when she saw this, her first impression was this lunatic is probably playing 40 hours of video games after he works 40 hours, right? <laughs> and in today's world, it's a pretty safe, safe assumption, okay? I have friends, and I'm not kidding you, that when they're not at work, they're playing video games all the time. They've forgotten or forgotten, if you will, relationships of any other kind they're they've you know completely set aside trying to continue their uh, education or any personal growth right and eventually in my experience those people eventually quit because they develop an addiction right an addiction doesn't start with day one you slowly get there it's like getting fat you don't get fat overnight you get fat one pound at a time right Reminds me, I gotta lose some weight. But to me, communication was key, right? Because I didn't want to lose this. Because I know how important this is for me as far as my mental health. Like this is what I do, this is where I come. All my investment ideas come from right here or within this space, right? My entertainment comes from here. I really don't watch a lot of movies or media in general. Now when I got married, that had to change because we made a deal with my wife, you know, whatever um, amount of time I spent on this hobby, right, I would also have to spend with her together, right? And that's sort of to keep a balance so I wouldn't be in a corner by myself. Uh, that was her uh, concern because she has friends that that's what happens. The husband literally gets home go straight to the computer and that's it they don't watch movies together they're really no dates or anything like that 
And let me tell you, uh, for me, for us, uh, spending time together, talking at least on the phone when you know we're not together, is very important. And if you're going to maintain a relationship long term, um, you know it's it's good that you like your partner. Right? <laughs> it's good that you want to spend time with your partner instead of <laughs> you know with 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 your video game. And so far, you know, so good for me. This this has worked. And let me tell you, I've had experiences where I didn't do that, where I wasn't completely honest about, you know, what I was doing or, you know, hiding my video games, this and that and the other. And then they find out, and it's probably because in my generation, okay, having this it just held a negative connotation. Playing video games as an adult, you know, it, it just, if you just said that out loud, it would hold a negative connotation. People would think of you as a loser, as a person who wasn't productive, a person who wasn't mature or anything like that, right? So you have to seek balance and that's what I've done, you know? And because video games have got me through a lot of things, guys. Through depression, through um, bad habits, right? Whenever I develop, whenever I saw myself developing a bad habit that I would have to break, I did it with this, right? Because my attachment to video games at that point was so strong, right? And for example, I'm talking about smoking, right? I had to smoke unless I was playing a video game because I didn't like smoking indoors, believe it or not, when I used to smoke way back in the day. I didn't like smoking indoors, so I would have to go outside in order to smoke. So, you know, I wouldn't, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't get smoke in my consoles, you know, whatever that was. But in the end, guys, I want to leave it with this. I want to ask you, right? Has your video game playing affected your relationships? And if it hasn't, how have you managed it, right? Because remember, I'm a newlywed. This is, you know, this is uh, new. For, this is going to be new for me. I've never had this this many video games while being married, right? And so far, so good. New videos every Monday and Sunday. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and remember, never ever be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.